Hi, Gary here. Do you have the cash? I'm not talking about C-A-S-H, I'm talking about K-A-S-H. In particular, do you have this as you are in retirement mode? What do I mean by that? Well, cash stands for knowledge, attitude, skills, and habits. You know, as you go through work life, if you've moved back to retirement from there, you don't have a lot of that happening later on. And sometimes you forget how it actually happens to get to a new habit, something you want to do in retirement. And many people are reinventing themselves. They don't even like the retirement word anymore, especially baby boomers. They're all going retirement now. They want reinventing themselves. So if you're going to reinvent yourself, cash is really important. And not the money kind, but the cash I just mentioned. Because what happens is, is you have to gain some kind of a knowledge have the right attitude about that, or whatever that happens to be, to then build the skill set that then eventually becomes a habit. And we know from brain science that the mylar that's building between the various uh, neurons or within the neurons in our brain, as it jumps along very rapidly and builds along, that's how habits are formed. You just skill over and over again. It's like learning how to ride a bike, or it's learning how to tie your shoes, or learning how to walk, or learning how to do anything. So if you really want to really make a difference in your life after you've retired, other than sitting around on the couch and watching the TV or spending a lot of time on social media, then probably you're going to want to build on some new habits or do something new. But it'll take a few years and it really requires you to have a very important uh, kind of acronym of cash to be able to go through and get that knowledge with a great attitude, get the skill, and eventually the habit will form and be with you the rest of your life and you'll enjoy yourself in your new reinvention Whatever that happens to be, whatever makes you really excited about getting out of bed every day and enjoying the next day in your life. So until next time, enjoy.